Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Paul Cavanaugh Fieldhouse for the 17th Walter Boverini Tournament. Lintek introduced Shailene Novars is number one. Number three is Lesney Isaguir. Pro is Niara Lane Benjamin. 20 is Amy Diaz. And 25 is Aliyah Val Valquez. And now for the Link Classical Rams. Molly Mannion is number two. Fifteen is Akia Brown. Fourteen is Lauren Hennessy. Ten is Ava Thurman. And thirty-five is Lauren Wilson. Coach for Tech is Caitlin Weschler. For Classical, it's Tom Sawyer. I believe, I think we're gonna have the National Anthem. No, they're not having the national anthem, so we're just going to get started. Lynn Tech is 2-2. Two two. Haskell undefeated at 3-0. and oh. The one sad part about this tournament, it's before Lynn schools, but unfortunately, Lynn English girls are not going to be able to participate because of COVID. So St. Mary's was supposed to play Lynn English. They'll draw a bye into the championship round tomorrow. So the winner of this game will get St. Mary's tomorrow in the 17th annual Boverini tournament. Walter, an outstanding gentleman. He was a politician, but you'd never know it. He was outstanding for the community, for the state, but especially for Lynn and the athletes and the kids of Lynn. He was a, there was never a better, any, anybody better than Walter. Tech wins the tap. And it gets knocked out by Brown. I think Tech is missing one of their better players. Diana, Diana heals Edwards. The problem some of the times when you get the tournament, whether it's whether it was the, the old Clancy or the Holland or this tournament. The, the tech kids have got assignments, they have jobs. So they not only have their schoolwork, but they have jobs as well. Thurman steps around, everybody missed the shot. Coming from behind was Molly Mannion. She knocked it away, but knocked it out. So both teams, teams have turned it over. Classical got the one shot. Classical goes to the full court press. They beat it. They missed the shot. The ball goes to the floor. And we get a foul. Diaz got in traffic, come up with a loose ball, got hit. She'll be at the line looking for the first points of the game. The problem we're going to have today is the sun. The sun comes in across the way as Diaz gets Tech on the board. Makes them both. Thurman will bring it up. Mannion got loose with, with the pass. She broke from the far side. Wilson hit her cutting in the middle. She lays it in. And we're tied at two as Classical goes for the full court press. 
tipped and picked off by Mannion. She dribbled it a little bit too high and lost it. Long three-point bomb, no good, tipped away. Brown had it, tried to control it, couldn't, went out of bounds. So Tech will get it back. They break to the middle, it got deflected away. Wilson and Thurman both got a piece of it. Hennessy bringing it up inside the Brown. Throws it in and gets fouled. So Tech got the first two. Classical has won four in a row. Brown can make it five. Doesn't get the bounce. He has shot blocked nicely and taken away by Hennessy. Lauren Hennessy just swatted that away and caught it. Gets it down, throws it up. Off the rim, no good. Brown with the rebound. Thurman with the straightaway. No good. Tipped. Tech comes up with it. Too strong off the glass. Manny gets the rebound. Hennessy with it. Wilson. Straight away shot off the rim, no good. Brown just saved it to Hennessy. And we're gonna reach in foul against Tech. No, I guess they call travel against Hennessy because they're gonna give Tech the basketball. I'm wrong. I, Diana Heels Edwards is here. She wasn't introduced in the starting lineup. I was kind of surprised because she's one of their better players. She's out there now. She's their leading scorer. It was fine to go. Shot off by Thurman. Shot. Off the rim, no good. Edwards gets her own rebound. Missed the shot. Wilson comes away with it. Thurman thought about it, didn't take it. Inside to Brown. Easy layup for Brown. Thurman picks it off, walks in for the layup. And Tech is gonna take a timeout. So Tech hit the first two free throws by Diaz. Classical has run eight in a row. Four of them by Akia Brown. We mentioned Tom Sawyer, the coach. He's the, the veteran around here. He's been around for a long time. He was an assistant at Classical for quite a while, became the, the head coach. And this game is interleague, obviously, Tech and the Commonwealth Conference, but I always get a little bit queasy when I say Classical in the Greater Boston League because they joined it last year, stepped out of the Northeastern Conference. They played in the conference for a long time, and now they're in the Greater Boston League. And they did extremely well. Uh, they won the girls' soccer. They won the volleyball. They, they won the golf. They had a lot of GBL championships.
English girls are not playing. Apparently, they also did a great job. They won the TBL championship. The boys won the GBL championship and the GBL cup. And we got a foul on Thurman. Thurman's got the assignment of trying to shut down Diana Heels Edwards, Tech's leading scorer. Lane Benjamin will put it in play. Diaz with it. Bounced it off for a foot. Picked up by Thurman. And they call a double dribble against Thurman. She held it as she, she was still dribbling, but she held it as she spun around and then she dribbled again. And that cost her. From the free throw line, up and good. Edwards ends a long streak. And it's eight to four, the Lady Rams. Tough shot by Thurman. And we're gonna jump ball. It'll be classical's basketball. And seeing Mannion come back. Brinkler with it now. Try to save it. And she actually bounced it off Tech. <laughs> she lost it, it was going out of bounds. She was able to bang it off Tech. Manning gets loose, can't hit it. Manning got a piece of it. She kept it in play, and then it got knocked out by Lane Benjamin, so Classical gets it back. Brinkler in the lane, takes the shot, in, out. Diaz is down court. Can't hit the shot. Heels Edwards high off the glass, no good. Brinkler with the rebound. Thurman to Hennessy, lays it in. Nice pass, good look by Thurman. They were lucky to get that pass. They get it up court to Jaylene Novars. She was wide open for the layup. Hennessy going to the basket with the underhand, gets hit. She'll be at the line for two. And she's got her third point. She makes them both. 12 to 6, the Lady Rams. Heck, having trouble with that full court press. Thurman, another tough shot, the lefty, but she lays it in. Nice pass from Edwards. They missed the layup. Brinkler takes it away. Thurman, one on four. Slows it down to Hennessy. Hennessy takes the long three. High off the rim a couple of times. Brinkler had it taken away by Diaz. Long pass deflected, but Lane Benjamin comes up with it. Shot, no good. Lost out of bounds by Tech. Three, 
Hennessy brings it up. Delaney Dana. Off the rim, no good. Diaz with another rebound. Lost it, got it back. And getting bumped and knocked down is Jaylene Nova. She squeezed between a couple and she got bumped, a little hip checked by Brinkler. Just over a minute left in this first period. Klausel has got their starting five back on the floor. They try to go inside. Knocked out by Thurman. They had trouble getting it in. And it goes out. Off Mannion. Lane Benjamin will put it in play. Knocked out by Wilson. They tie it up, pull it away. Marshall comes up with the turnover. Strong to the basket by Mannion. Three point basket, I got nobody to throw it to. Polquist throws it in. Thurman lays it in and gets fouled. Looking for the conventional three point play. Off the rim, no good. Lane Benjamin comes up with it. Taken away by Hennessy, but she lost it out of bounds. Shot clock is off. 21 seconds left in this first period. A big one by Classical as they double up on the ball. And they pick it off. Hennessy going to the basket. Lays it in. Loose. Classical comes away with it. And they don't get the shot off. Big period by Glasgow. Tech cut the first two. Glasgow went on an eight nothing run before Tech got their next their first basket. And it winds up Lint Glasgow twenty, Lint Tech nine at the end of one period. Seventeenth annual Walter Bovary tournament. Lint Glasgow jumping out quickly over Tech. We missing the winner of this gets St. Mary's in the championship final. Tech is having a lot of problems against the full court press. They've turned the ball over quite a bit and given classical a few layups. Hennessy and Thurman have six apiece. Brown and Mannion have four apiece. Hawkwars has that big three point basket to lead Tech with three points. He is trying to get loose, can't. No buzz, can't get the shot off. Diaz takes the shot, possibly blocked. Nice play by Benjamin. Lane Benjamin, it got tipped, Glasgow had it. She reached over the shoulder, tipped it away, got it to herself and laid it in. So she made the defensive play and the offensive play. Brown too strong. Benjamin with the rebounds. He's not the biggest player on the court. And now she throws it away. 
She snuck inside and got the rebound. Hennessy will bring it up. Hennessy, Mianyan, Wilson, Brown and Thurman. Inside, Wilson for the corner, missed the layup. She was deep in the near corner and broke to the basket, got the pass. Benjamin lost it, got it back. Hennessy picked it off. Long touchdown pass to Thurman. Nice fake. They were looking to block the shot. She stopped, they went by, and had the easy layup. And Tech throws it away. Those are the turnovers that give coaches gray hair, the unforced. Thurman goes out. Delaney Dana comes in for the Lady Rams. Breaking to the basket, missed the layup. Brown with the rebound, lays it in. They try to go deep, picked off. It goes off the fingertips of Mannion. Keisha Perez try to go inside. She's in the game now for Glasgow. Lane Benjamin, Heels Edwards, Jaylene Novas, Amy Diaz. And Alia Valsquez, the five for the Lady Tigers. Off the rim, no good. And we got a foul against Glasgow recent. Over the top, Diaz had good position. Rebounding the basketball and she got hit from behind. Heels Edwards gets it up court. Bounce pass. They get there in time to block the shot, but they also got a piece of Volquez. Nice pass from Novas. So when they beat the press and get it up court, they're getting good shots. But more often than not, they're not beating the press. Off the rim, too strong. Thurman's coming back, Wilson's going out. Off the rim, no good. Taken away by Diaz, the turnaround, no good. Thurman will push it up. Stolen away by Diaz. Pass got blocked. Blocked again. It goes to the floor. He also, Edwards saves it. Off the rim, no good. Rebound around the rim, no good. The follow. Tech doing a job off the glass. He also, Edwards will get two at the line. It's not Heo Edwards. I thought it was her. They called a foul before that on the Lane Benjamin rebound. She's at the line for a couple. Gets the bounce for the first one. Off the rim, too strong. Brinkler with the rebound. Thurman pushes it up. Hennessy right down the lane. Gets hit as she takes the underhand shot. One tick over five minutes left in this first half. Glasgow has doubled up on Tech 24 to 12. And as he can add to that. <laughs> 
four for four from the line. She matches Thurman with eight points apiece. They lob it up and they were lucky to get that pass complete. He gets knocked out by Perez. You get that sun streak aligned right down almost the middle of the court. That sun coming in. And it's probably going to get worse as the day gets older. Hennessy was a little too close for the out of bounds. They get it to Heels Edwards. Trying to go. Thurman won't let her. Novas. Wild shot. And throwing it up and in. Looked like it was tipped, but it went in off Heels Edwards. Wide open is Brinkler. Yeah, we're going to time out. Not quite halfway through this second period. Again, classical doubling up on Tech 28 to 14. This is the 17th Wolverine tournament. Each of the four schools take turns hosting it. English's turn this year. It was, I think it was 2019, I believe, was the one year that the four schools didn't compete. Kip was in. The Kip Boys team played because Lynn English was invited and went to South Dakota to play in the tournament. So English didn't play in the Boverini tournament that one year. Kip took English's place. And then we got back to the four Lynn schools. Tournaments are dying. The Clancy Tournament is no longer. I, the Holland Tournament, I believe, is gone. But the Mullins, former baseball coach of English, will be coming back. Shot. Good by Edwards. He's got four in a row. Three-point shot, no good. Tipped up. Fall away by Brown is good. She's the third player with eight points for Classical. Out of bounds off Classical. They try to go inside. Brinkley got a piece of it and knocked it away. They go inside. Somehow they get the pass inside the Nova and she lays it in. There were three white shirts there trying to block it. She took it away from all three and laid it in. Thurman with a little bounce pass, shot, no good. Getting her own rebound was Brinkler. Brown kept it alive. Thurman with a tough shot. She likes to take that little left-handed hook. Somehow that pass got through to Diaz. Now she dribbled a little too much, Brown takes it away. Hennessy shot, blocked, and Hennessy knocks it out of bounds. A couple of ticks under three minutes remaining in this first half. A uh, pretty good one for Link Glasgow, and now Tech throws it away. I'm sorry, I was trying to make a substitution. It was a little bit late. 
and one was trying to get off, one was trying to get on. They gave the ball out of bounds. He didn't want a five second call, so he called a timeout. 30 to 18, classical on top. Again, the winner will get St. Mary's in the championship final. The pairings will be the same for the next game. The boys, classical will take on Tech. Tech with their new coach, Corey Bingham. Of course, Bob and Avery, fairly new in his second year at classical. He'll be coaching against his, the team that he put on the map. He took them to state finals, the state championship. He had a great coaching career at Lynn Tech basketball. He'll be coaching against his, his old team. He tried to go inside, it gets knocked away. Diaz got a piece of it. Brown, off the rim, no good, easy, rebound. And that was Dana. Shot too strong. And it goes out off Dana. Some of these young ladies, especially classical, good multi sport athletes. Brinkler was a volleyball player. Off the rim, no good. Thurman, Wilson, Dana. Very good volley, uh, soccer players. I'll stop there because I'm probably missing somebody. Blocked by Brown, she just swatted that away. They let it fly. Moquez hit a three before, now she's just throwing it up quickly. Two minutes and counting left in this first half. Thurman, one of those patented lefties. She's got 10. <laughs> he was Edwards. She's been shut down for the most part. She's their leading scorer. Yeah, we got a foul against Dana. And that's gonna put Tech at the line for one and one. Novaz is classical's over the limit. It's hard to pick up the players right under the basket with that sun so strong. Shot, no good. Brinkler tracks down the rebound. Thurman with it. Brown inside, off the glass, no good. Heels head was with the rebound. Looking to go to the basket, gets shut off again. Tough shot, Benjamin just got swatted away. She wound up inside, she's not the biggest person. Hennessy to the basket, laid it up, didn't quite get it there. Thurman shot, no good. Brinkler with the rebound. Tip, knocked away by Novas. Brinkler got it back. Brown steps inside and lays it in. She's got 10. Pascal has that very big height advantage with Brinkler and Brown. And Mannion.
Top short gets it to go. She threw that on high off the glass. Ends a little bit of a drought for Tech. Thurman with another one of those lefties. Gets her own rebound, blocked and knocked out. If you watch Thurman play, you gotta know, you gotta make her go to her right. Brown hits it at the buzzer. She got eight in the period. Lasko puts 38 on the board. And at halftime, it's classical 38, Lintec 20. Welcome back to the Paul Cavanaugh Fieldhouse as we set the start the second half. Lasko with a good size. Lead 38 to 20 over the Lady Tech Tigers. Class will have the basketball. Thurman, Hennessy, Mannion, Brown, Wilson, the five out there. They go inside to Brown, tipped away. Mannion saves it. <coughs> Hennessy from way outside, off the rim, no good. Diaz got a piece of it. Couldn't save it, it goes out of bounds. Glasgow had three people in double digits. Actually, two in double digits. Thurman had 10, Brown had 12. Hennessy was close behind with eight. As they go inside, they complete the pass. Hennessy with a rifle shot to Thurman. Lays it in, gets Glasgow on the board first. Glasgow stays with that full court press. Can't hit the shot. Touchdown to Hennessy. Inside to Thurman. Hangs on the rim, won't go. Thurman gets it back. Kicks it out to Brown. Hennessy for three. Off the rim, no good. Volquez comes up with a loose ball. Somehow she got the pass to Novas, she was triple teamed. Novas has it blocked by Brown. Mannion pushing it up. Brown inside. Strong to the basket, knocks it home. She's taking advantage of that height advantage. They go inside, they kick it back. Throwing it in from the free throw line is Diaz. They had a layup, they gave it up, they gave it back to Diaz at the foul line. She threw it in and got hit. And she'll look for a three point play. Heels Edwards had six for Tech. They had five different scores. Haskell had six. No good. The Indian took the rebound away from Heo Edwards. Wilson, strong to the basket and lays it in, coast to coast. Russell takes it away. <coughs> Three point basket by Wilson, five in a row by Wilson. Touchdown pass to Novus, gives it up. Short, no good by Volquez, but she got hit. And it's 47-22. And I'm not sure why Classical is still full court pressing. In and out. No good. Wilson tracks down the long rebound.
Looking to go strong to the basket again and lays it in. She's got seven in a row. And Tech wants a timeout. All of a sudden, it's 49 to 22, an 11 to 2 run to start this third period. Mannion, Hennessy, Brown, Thurman, and Wilson. Five starters on the floor. Diaz, Heos, Edwards, Lane, Benjamin, Volquez, Novas out there for Tech. Now they take the press off. Can't go to the basket. Diaz stuck with it. Takes the shot, can't hit it. Hennessy with the rebound. Stops, takes the three, can't hit it. It goes out of bounds. She likes that three point shot, but she hasn't got one yet. Brinkler comes in and Manning goes out for Clasco. Hassett goes back to the full court press. Strong drive to the basket by Jaylene Novas. She'll get two at the line. Yeah, we're going to get a timeout. Opening round of the 17th, Walter Boverini Tournament. The winner will get St. Mary's in the championship final because normally it would have been English and St. Mary's playing the next game, the girls opening round, but English has quite a few players out or enough players out that they couldn't compete. And it's a shame because they're hosting. So St. Mary's Luckily draws a bye, and they'll play the winner of this game in the championship final. So the next game actually will be a repeat of this one virtually, Classical and Tech, the boys. And we'll finish up with English and St. Mary's boys. Ends a little bit of a drought for Tech. It's only their third point. And we played just over three minutes. Off the rim, no good. Tip to Thurman. Driving the lane, throwing it in is Brinkler. And again, a full court press. Hassel's up 28 points in the third period and they're still full court pressing. I, that kind of baffles me.
ground. She was looking for Brinkler. Brinkler stopped. And now they throw the pass away. They had Lane Benjamin out in front, and they threw it too far ahead of her. Hannah Califf in the game for the first time for Lynn Tech. Delaney Dana comes back for classical. They're not going to give Hennessy the basket. Foul on the drive. Brown's going out. Manuela Lozado Nunez will come in for the first time for classical. Thurman gets loose for the layup. And they take it away again, and Brinkler lays it in. We're going to time out. Glasgow's just pulling it on, 55 to 23. They had an 18 point lead at halftime. They went on an 11 to 2 run to start this period. Wilson had, didn't score in the first half, but she got seven straight in this third period. They've held Tech to one basket as we're halfway through this third period. A 15 to three run. All of a sudden, Lena's balloon over 30. Yeah, Benjamin standing around, took three, took three steps. Didn't put the ball on the floor, turns it over. Asia Hang in for classical, along with Keisha Perez. They go inside, the shot off the rim, no good. Gets her own rebound and lays it in. That's Manuela Lozado Nunez. And when they get down, there we lose them with that bright sunshine out on the court. Perez can't hit it. Diaz knocked it out. Classical will get the basketball. Keels Edwards is coming back in for Tech. Shot too strong. Rebound. Tipped around. It goes to the floor. We'll get a jump ball. It'll be Tex basketball.
Hills head was going to the basket too strong. Gets her own rebound, has it taken away. And now we're gonna jump ball, it'll be Classical's basketball. Brinkler. Fall away, no good. Classical saves it, gets it back. They kick it out to Brinkler. Fix goes to the basket, lays it in. She's got six in the third period. Yeah, we lose track of them when they go into that far corner because that bright sunshine is really bright right in the lane, the foul lane. And it just kind of obliterates that far corner. They go inside, they take it away. Brinkler bringing it up. Try to go inside, deflected away, stolen away by Diaz. And she double dribbled. She had it, dribbled it, lost it, dribbled it again. Up and good by Manuela Lozado Nunez. A minute and a half and counting left in this third period. Heels Edwards trying to go. She runs into a pile of white shirts. Off the backboard, no good. Touchdown pass to Pierce, she's all by herself and lays it in. Nine different scores for Classical. Shot blocked, it goes to the floor. Everybody kind of looking at it. Jump ball will be Tex basketball. Olivia De Jesus in the game for Tech. Stripped away, Diaz dribbling it, Perez walked in from behind, took it away. Back checking by Perez, took it away, she's all by herself for the layup. Nova has shut off. And she double dribbled. Stopped, didn't pass the ball, dribbled again. Shot clock is off. Classical can, I don't know why, but they can hold for one if they wanted to. Ariella Long in the game for Tech as Brinkler brings it up. Off the rim, no good. Brinkler with the easy rebound, lays it in. She's got 10, eight in this period, and that's gonna do it. So classical, eight minutes away from moving into the championship final against St. Mary's, they lead it. They got a huge lead over Tech at the end of three. Classical will have the basketball and a humongous lead. Brinkler and Perez. Rosado Nunez. Hine. Mannion's in the game. 
along with Delaney, Dana. It's Novas and Perez. Heels, Edwards, shot no good. And we got a foul against Tech. They knocked Perez down. Long and De Jesus. And now Volquez is coming back. Shot no good. Taken away. They try to dribble out. It got taken away. Backing in, they hit the side of the backboard with the shot. Diaz stripped away. Little spin around. Dios Edwards. Off the rim, no good. Off the rim again, no good. Tipped. They'll give it to Perez to bring up. I'm not sure why that wasn't a turnover. Takes it strong to the basket and laid it in. I thought, I thought she turned it over. She spun around, lost it. It was in the air. She kept, then she dribbled again. No boss. Trying to go, throws it up, off the rim, no good. Trying to get her own rebound, got tipped away. And he'll give it to Perez to bring up. Dana caught the pass, he took two steps before she put the ball on the floor. Caleb is back for Tech. Heo said was will bring it up. Looking to go strong to the basket. Gives it off. Shot, no good. Dana with the rebound. Looking to go to the basket, gets shut off by Diaz. And almost lost it. Inside. Somehow she found Perez breaking to the basket. I don't know how she even saw her. Nice pass from Dana to Perez. A little over the head shot. Perez has got eight. Diaz shot goes out of bounds. Kelsha Perez with eight. Perez shuts off, steps back off the glass, almost banked it in. Diaz Edwards comes up with it. Diaz almost lost it. Diaz will bring it up. Now stolen away. Perez, she stepped in front. Diaz tried to give it to Diaz Edwards. Perez with her second steal. Uncontested layup, she's got 10. High off the glass. Got the bounce, Edwards throws it in. You'd rather be lucky than good. She just let it fly. Hit the rim, bounced straight up in the air and bounced straight through. Mannion shot, possibly blocked by Diaz. She comes away with it. Pass too far ahead. Edwards somehow saved it. Off the rim, no good. Wilson's coming back in for classical. I'm not sure what the whistle was for unless it was just to get subs in. I guess it was. Inside. Nice pass to turn around, no good. Volquez. Breach in foul. Perez looking for another steal. Picks up the foul.
Diaz couldn't get the shot off. Too strong. Novas takes the rebound away. On her way to the basket, she gets hit. Let's see if they call it a shooting foul. They're going to give her two at the line. Off the rim, no good. Too strong again. Heck, has only got that one three-point prayer that was answered by Hio said was that's their only basket. They only have six points in the second half. Strong to the basket, too strong by Novas. Classical knocked it out. Just past the halfway mark of this fourth and final period. This one was settled a long time ago. Heels Edwards can't hit it, tipped up. Delaney Dana walks it up. Wilson in the lane, can't hit it. Follow is up and good by Lozado Nunez. Too strong again. Wilson with the rebound. And she'll walk it up. Perez having the time of her life there. She's got eight in this fourth period. She's got 12 overall. Yeah, we got a timeout by Tech with 2.24 left. So Klaska's gonna stay perfect, they're gonna go to four and oh. Tech will drop under 500, they'll go to two and three. And it will be Classical and St. Mary's in the Walter Boverini Girls Championship Final. Nine different scores for St. Mary's. Asia Hine. Hine is the only player not to score for classical. Stuck in the corner. Shot from the corner, too strong. Diaz saved it. Heels Edwards can't hit the shot, tipped up. Oscar will slow it down. Wilson will walk it up. Off the rim, no good. Off the rim again, no good. Long three-point bomb. Haskell will just slow it down. 
as we're coming up on a minute left. Glasgow's put a big 75 on the board. Three point basket by Hang and she gets on the board and everybody has scored. 10 different scores for, for Classical. She was the only one that hadn't. She hit that nothing but net with a three. Off the rim, no good. Wilson went on the rebound. Peck only has six points in the second half. And we're 40 seconds left. They only have two baskets. They were looking for Hank to throw it up again. Roscoe just holding it out. Running the clock, it runs out. Roscoe's put 78 up. 19 seconds left. Tech's last trip down court, long three-point bomb. Another three-point bomb by Edwards. They got three baskets in the second half, two of them three-point baskets by Keos Edwards. Glasgow with a big 78 to 29 win over Tech. Tech will go to two and three. Classical stays perfect at 4 0. Classical will take on St. Mary's in the championship final. For Tech, Jaylene Novus had five. Lane Benjamin had five. Diaz had four. Volquez had a three point basket. And Heels Edwards got 12. He's got those two three point baskets in the fourth period to get 12. For Lynn Classical, Wilson had seven straight points. She got all seven straight points in the third period. Lozado Nunez had six. Lauren Hennessy had eight. Dana had two. Mannion had four. Hine had that big three-point basket. Reese Brinkler had 10. And three different players. Or what, excuse me, Perez had 12. And two different players had 14. Ava Thurman and uh, Akia Brown had 14 apiece for Lynn Classical as they get out to that. Tech scored two, Classical scored the next eight, and it was all downhill after that. They had the big lead at halftime. They went on 11-2 run to start the third period, and it was all downhill after that for Tech as Classical wins it going away. 78-29 to 29 to go 4-0 and on the season and earn a spot in the Wolverine Championship final against St. Mary's tomorrow. So 78-29, Classical Overtech. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.